team you supported as a kid? Arsenal. Still do. Right then. What are we waiting for then? Arsenal. Get it over and done with. This move here, yeah, this is going to be very simple. Oh. Okay. I see. Right. Before you man get on to me and go, Babs, this is not going to happen. I think it would be good for me to put it up here. I don't think it will either. The question is though, do I think Rufford Zaha is worth 80 million British pounds? Watch the full video and you'll find out. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bath14. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back here with another transfer video. I say another transfer video. This is my first transfer video in uh, a long while. But hey, third upload in six days. <clears throat> FC consistency. But yeah, in this video, I will be talking about Crystal Palace's Rufford Zaha. And is he really worth the reported 80 million pounds? But before I do get into that, let's go down there, smash the like button if you do enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. As I did say in my last video where I was VIP on Leicester City's stadium, on a Premier League pitch may I say, wow. But as I did say, I'm trying to be much more consistent on this channel and the only way that is really going to happen is if you give me support, any likes, any positive comments, subscriptions, it just gives me more motivation to upload videos. So again, much appreciated. Oh and of course, comment below your thoughts on Wilfred Zaha. Do you think this man here is worth... 80 million pounds? Well, yeah, let me know in the comments. Also, comment below hashtag Team14 if you would like a shout in my next video saying that. Shout out to you, man. And say no more. Is Wilfred Zaha worth 80 million great British pounds? Or let's find out, lads. Firstly, do we even need it? I think a simple answer to that is um, yes, of course we fucking do. I mean, I've had enough of Alex Orobi and him beating three players only to hit the first man of the cross. Enough of that. Mick, sorry. Nah, man, dead. And Aubameyang, he is in a fucking winger, okay? So Zaha would not only fill that void of a winger that we've lacked since, um, you know, dog shatter, but he also is a ball progressor. The man knows how to beat players. He is an elite dribbler, draws in fouls, and then I already mentioned how dead our current wingers are. And as I mentioned, dribbling is a massive asset of Zaha, and I think that in big games will help us a lot, because a lot of big games, especially away from him, Arsenal will be trapped on the edge of their box, and then you've got Aubameyang, who's a striker, who should be up there with Lacazette, and then your real outlet is Ozil, who's not really got speed, and you've got Iwobi or Mkhitaryan, who, uh, as I said, are pretty dead. So with Zaha's dribbling ability in big games, yo, we could be a threat, and I think that's something we lack for a long time, and I think we haven't had pacey, pacey see wingers not for your Walcott level but I mean good like wingers since I mean the early 2000s when we had Henri, Youngberg, Pires, all those players and we were deadly on the counter attack and you go back to the best Arsenal teams they've always been good at counter attacking and this Arsenal team right now I wouldn't really say they're that good at it because again I said the wingers are dead but with Zaha and his dribbling and his raw speed yeah man we could have some business here lads and not only that but in away games in general we have been fucking shit Everyone fucking knows. We might as well not play away from them because we're going to lose anyways. Whether it's teams like Leicester City or dead teams like Man United. <laughs> we always get dominated away from home and we lack a player that can just break through and open up space and move us up the pitch and Zaha will definitely offer us that. Apart from that, what I think Zaha will massively give us is he will give us an extra option. As I said, a winger is key and I don't care who we sign but a winger is massively key, especially a good winger. And a winger with Zaha who attracts players towards him. Aubameyang this season has scored 22 goals, he won the goal debut and they said he's a Gavin Jamie Vardy. Ha 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 ha. But nonetheless, the point is he still scored 22 goals despite playing a lot of season out wide or on the bench. And now, can you imagine if Aubameyang and Lacazette would have more space when you've got an actual winger drawing three or four players towards him and then you've got Laka and Alba to pick up the pieces? We would be fucking clinical. Bang. And right now, every team that will play as Arsenal, especially Red River, was so predictable going forward. It's always down the middle. Lacazette and Aubameyang, Lacazette and Aubameyang. And because our fullbacks are kind of shit at going forward sometimes, we have no wit and no one to draw players out. And Zaha would do that. We need space for Aubameyang. We need space for Lacazette. And Zaha, he really would give him that. And let's not also forget, he is a world-class rattler. I mean, he's in the league of Barcelona. 14, you know, he loves the right opposition fans, and I have had first-class experience of that, and trust me, him bumming Mustafi live in person was not a pleasant experience. Trust me. Mentioning Mustafi, you're still fucking shit. I still fucking hate you. Get out of my club. <clears throat> Robbie, I'm telling you. I've had enough. Secondly, would he come to us? I mean, there are many ways I could be answering this question. Yes, just watch this video. Team you supported as a kid? Arsenal, still do. So it's confirmed, lads. Welcome to Arsenal with Zaha. Thirdly, is he worth 
80 million great British pounds. Now for the question that you man clicked the video on for. Do I personally believe he's worth that amount of money? I mean, it's a massive amount of money. We could buy a lot of stuff with it. I could buy a lot of food with that. I'm a fat shit. But going to Zaha, do I believe he's worth that amount of money? Yes, I fucking do. Why is he worth 80 million pounds? Just look at our previous transfers. Must we forget we spent 35 million pounds on Squad Ram Mustafi, who's been shit. We also spent 35 million pounds on Granite Shaka, who's been shit. So let's get this straight. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it. We spent a combined 70 million pounds <coughs> on Shaka and Mustafi. Well, then why can't we spend that amount on Zaha? Is he even gonna cost 80 million pounds? End of the day, what if the media reports are just wrong? And what if he's worth 60 or 70? I still believe Wilfred Zaha is a player that we need to go out and get there because trust me, he, he would rip it at Arsenal. He'd be opening up defences and putting his dick up their asses. We would be in business. Now, could you imagine a Bamiya and Akis and Zaha with those were providing them? Boy! What are we waiting for? And as I said in my first point, he offers us a big game player, a weight game to both dribble horse players, he opens up space for Bumming and Lacazette. He's fucking good at football. He also counts as a homegrown player, which means we can finally get rid of this Lord and Saviour about really time. And he's Premier League proven, which gets me onto my final point, alternatives. Now, as much as Arsenal fans will have you believe with them winning the Champions League with Chamber Rovers and FIFA career mode, that then the next Pep Guardiola's, really and truly, we're just fine. Yes, we have our opinions and sometimes they're controversial and sometimes they're pretty pointless. But the whole thing is, they're just opinion. If we were as good as we thought we were, we'd be in a top level Premier League team right now. Not sat at home at 2am in the morning recording a video when I've got work tomorrow. Life sometimes isn't fair. Now on that point, if you like me have your head invested in the arse of Arsenal Twitter, you'd know our fans really do like the likes of Nicolas Pepe and Ryan Fraser and they and they want to see that man balling at the Emirates next year. Now let's start with Pepe, he may just be a world beer. he might go on to win the Ballon d'Or, probably not, but he might be a very very good player. But for me Zaha is one thing that Pepe simply does not have. Five star skills on FIFA. Nah man, I'm talking about Premier League experience. I think for me, Arsenal have not invested in players enough in the Premier League. I know we bought Mkhitaryan, but that was more of a transfer and it was sort of deal and it was basically end to me. We had to get something from that deal. But we simply haven't bought enough Premier League players. We always look at players from around the world, like the, you know, Jacques and Mustafis and see how they worked out. And now if you look at Liverpool, who finished second this year, even though with 97 points, like, whoa. 97 points, no league title. Yes, they bought the likes of Salah and Firmino, but look at the Van Dykes, the Marnes. Hendersons, a lot of Premier League players that they've bought from other Premier League teams, Premier League players that are Premier League proven. Now, often I've bought the likes of Aubameyang and Lacazette and Torreira and Leno, and yeah, they've been great. And a lot of players, not always, but a lot of players to sign a player and he would never really hit the ground running and it would take him a year to adjust. And sometimes with the club like Arsenal are in, I'd say, decline, we don't have the time for a year to give a player and hope he turns out well. So I think signing players from a Premier League team would just skip that year. We have a player there who's already proven the league. He knows the way the league works. He's used to having no winter break. And yeah, man, I think that's something we need to really focus on. Just look at how Liverpool signed Sadio Mane. This guy could be Armani, just with a, a slightly more dodgy trim. In terms of Ryan Fraser, now if I really wanted my team to become FC Crosserland, I'd go watch Man United. No, hang on. They're fucking shit. Why do I do it to myself? But with that being said, guys, um, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna end this video there and there. If you haven't got the point yet, yes, I do personally believe the Wolf of Zaha would be worth 80 million pounds. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. If you don't, let me know in the comments why. Also, if you wanna see Arsenal sign any other players, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can make a video on them. And yeah, comment below your thoughts in general. Also, if you did like the video, make sure to smash a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as we are closing on to 4,000 subscribers. Also, make sure to follow your boy on social media. His links will be in the description. I don't really ask this a lot, you know, but you know, why not? You're in it. So might as well follow me on socials, you know. Yeah. And with that being said, guys, my name is Bass14 and you have just watched another video of me talking out of my house. I hope you enjoyed it.